news as we head towards DPW Beast Coast tomorrow night, dpwondemand.com. Big night of action as Emmy Soccer defends the Women's World Championship against Killer Kelly. We'll see Andrew Everett defend the national championship against the bounty hunter Brian Keith. And speaking Big of the national man. championship, eh? Rich. That, is, that belt does not belong to BK Westbrook. BK Westbrook stole that title from the hands of Andrew Everett. He did not win it. He is not legally the national champion. But he's walking out with a damn belt anyway. That's ballsy. Well, after Everett was checking on Jackson Drake after Jackson's match with Lucky Ali back at DPW, no pressure. Not only did Westbrook attack, he hit Everett with Everett's signature move, the shooting star press. So, talk about a shot across the bow and then stealing the gold on top of that. What could, what could he possibly have to say here tonight? He stole a man's title. What else you got to do to rub it in? but damn sure talented. I'll give him that. Real quick, I want you guys to give it up for the real DPW national champion, the Super Stein, BK Westbrook. Shut the fuck up when the super studs talking. I can cuss too. And you know, you know what? I can't hit. I can't help but feel blatantly disrespected by you fans. I can't blatantly feel disrespected by those goobs at the front office. Because quite frankly, I'm one of the OGs of this bitch. I've been here since day one, and unfortunately, since I don't have three letters attached to my name, because I don't have a, a pin contract, and because I'm not some sort of superstar in New Japan, I have to be relegated to this bullshit on Spark. What's wrong with Spark? And nobody... You suck! You suck. Nobody wants to acknowledge me as the real DPW National Heavyweight Champion. Instead, 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 you guys cheer for that little boy, Andrew Everett. t-shirt that I got on CWF Mid-Atlantic, a school down the road here, the only place worth a shit to wrestle in North Carolina. In my, in my personal opinion, I was going to become a star there long before I stepped foot in Deadlock Pro. But you want, oh wait, hold on one second, I need you all quiet. Andrew Everett's dad's here in the crowd tonight. I want you to listen to me, Four Eyes. And, and, and here's, the, here's the thing. In 2019, when I started out, Andrew Everett, he, yeah, Andrew Everett wasn't at CWF. You know where he was? He was busy being an Impact Wrestling star. And it didn't pan out, he moved to Florida, and I was supposed to hear that he's some sort of nice guy, he's gonna be given back. Nice but, but, you shut up. <laughs> and all the while, when I needed help, where was he? In Florida. And he tried to be a star, but the problem is, his, uh, he had what? His sixth knee surgery, trying to do it? And uh, in that time, 
Andrew Everett's daddy, he had to take all the money from CWF where I was training at right before I made my debut to pay for his knee surgery. Isn't that right? Didn't you have to get to take out your pockets and tell the doctors, please let my baby boy wrestle. He needs another chance. And he had a chance and he blew it. And he continues to hog the spotlight even when I'm out of the training school, even when I come here to Deadlock Pro. And now that I'm here, he's continuously in my way. He's all up in my business and I had to do what I had to do and show everybody that I am better than Andrew Everett. I can do his chuck slam way better. I can do that goofy ass Everett special over the ropes better. And I certainly can do that shoot and star press better. And I am the national champion for a reason because I'm better than Andrew Everett. I'm better than him, point blank, period. You know what's bullshit? What's bullshit is the fact that, you know, maybe if I streamed some video games and acted like a buffoon and thought that I was seven foot four, maybe I get it to catch the match too. Maybe I'd get a goddamn title shot at Calvin Tankman for this and I wouldn't have to steal it from him. But now this is mine. And Drew, I am inviting you, I'm asking you, I'm fucking begging you, please come take this shit from me. Come take it from me. Come take the DPW National Championship from the super stud. Now, Wayne, is it me or is Westbrook laying out a challenge here? It sounds like it. Just yeah. like I thought. Hey, uh, hey Danny. He's getting ready. Obviously, uh, ever getting for that, hey. getting ready for that big match tomorrow against Brian How Keith. about you take something else from me? You want to take away the school? You want to take away my spotlight? How about you take something else from me, huh? That, that, that's yeah. Everett's dad right there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You took it right. That's funny. That's funny. Um, I just wanted to, wanted to tell you to your face because I've never gotten the chance to do so until now. You raised a giant bitch. Wow. Come on. Right to his oh, hey, I, I, what the what stupid the hell? hell? Oh, here's Everett. Everett's seen it. It's a big deal. Everett has seen it off. We gotta get security out here. So, get the well, locker room out here. Pull these two apart. Oh, my God. You can't go and put your hands in the you want. Gold, like 
like it's a piece of trash back in the ring. That's BK saying this is not about the damn title. This is personal now. This is far beyond championship gold. How, how is Everett's dad? Is he okay? Yeah, we got to get can, can we get word on that? Our doctor's down there, something. And he took a nasty spill and it went over the, you see me, went over the chair. And yeah. It looked like he fell back and hit his head. At the end of the day, though, one good thing out of this, the real champ has his title back. Out of my face. I don't think he's too concerned with, with the physical gold right now. I think you're right about that. Andrew Everett is fired up, and BK Westbrook is going to have a huge, huge price to pay. Wow. 